So in this video we're going to take a look at the most common mistake which drivers new to racetrack driving make when they go onto track and how to fix it. So we've got four video clips, four different drivers, four different cars, four different racetracks, four different track days, but one mistake and see if you can spot it. So each of those drivers drove their car off the track in controlled circumstances. There was no mechanical failure, there was no skidding, there was no all on the track. They literally drove off the track. And why? Well, there's a simple one word answer to that, and that is vision. Specifically, not looking ahead far enough. And if you get into a car of any racetrack instructor, one of the first things they're gonna do after they fix your seating position and steering uh, wheel uh, handhold is gonna be talking about how far you need to look ahead. But that is the question. They always just say, look ahead, keep your vision up, but they never really say how far. And that's what I'm going to answer in this video. So let's take this racetrack I've just made up and we're gonna zoom in on one corner. Now, we're going to have a basic racing line here starting with the car, it, and it will, as usual with racing lines, start on the outside, move to the inside, and then end up on the outside again. So we can split that down into four corner points. Our braking marker with full throttle until that point, the point where we start to turn in, the point where we hit the apex, and the point where we get to the outside of the track again with the track out. Now, that's a simple corner. There's other corners where you exit in the middle of the track, etc. We're not gonna go through those now, though the principle um, is actually the same. Okay, now let's take a missed apex. So with the red line here, we've turned in a little bit earlier than what we should, and as a result, we end up missing the apex over here, and then, we end up running off the track there, which is obviously not ideal, even if it's grass, because you could damage your car, you're gonna lose your app time. If there is a concrete wall here, then that's, I think we can agree that's probably even less than ideal. So that might be what happened. I mean, uh, maybe you turn in a bit late, maybe you turn in a bit early, maybe you don't break um, hard enough, who knows, right? You've made a mistake into the corner, and if you carry it through to its logical conclusion, you're likely to be off the track. Okay, what you can't do is this. You can't make your mistake and keep on going and right at the last moment to make this big adjustment in direction. You can't do that because you're traveling too fast and you don't have the grip to make that sort of quick change. If you do try and make that sort of quick change, chances are the car will skid and then you get into an oversteer or understeer um, situation to recover from that. So that's not going to work. And if you want to know how to do oversteer and understeer recovery, I do have other videos um, explaining how to do that. Okay, what you actually want to do is this. You make your mistake, you turn in too early, but you notice it early. So at this point over here, you can go, yeah, okay, I've turned in early, I know that. I'm going to have to wash off a bit more speed here, turn early. You know, you've, you've got the rest of the track here to sort it out as opposed to waiting at this point when there's, there's no more track, there's no more time left to do it. So if you recognize it early at this point, you're good. You can just go, yeah, okay, I stuffed it up, you know, I carried a bit too much speed in, braked wrongly, turned early, whatever the case may be, and you don't do it again the next lap. But at least you have another lap as opposed to ending up backwards in the Armco over here. Okay, so we've got our brake, turn in, apex, and track out there. How far do you look ahead? Well, I call it next plus one. So Here's our car, we're coming up to the um, brake marker, so you're going to be looking at the brake marker primarily, but also the turn-in marker. 
So you're not purely focused on the brake marker at this point. Now you're coming up to the brake marker, so you know out of your peripheral vision where you're going to brake on it, and you're really focused on your turning point, but you're also having a bit of a look outside of your peripheral vision for the apex. And here, braking's done, that's in the past now. You're definitely on your way into your turning marker, so you're a bit focused on that, but you're not completely focused on the turning marker, you're also looking at the apex because that's where you want the car to go. This is all about looking where you want the car to go. Now at this point over here, the car should be on a trajectory towards the apex. Think of it like a bowling ball. You've sent the bowling ball down, down uh, the alley and it's gonna go for 10 pins, that's done, you're moving on to the, to the next, next thing there. And then you're really focused on the track out. So basically, at the point where you're turning in here, you're setting the car on a trajectory for the apex and you can see if you've successfully done that or not. So as a result, you need to spend less time looking at the apex and more about whether your trajectory will end up at the correct track out point um, or not. So for example, if you're going to potentially end up mid-track over here, maybe you get on the power a bit earlier, start using up some of that grip, turning tight or whatever the case may be. It's all about looking ahead. Okay, so if we go back to the fictional track now, let's take a few examples for it. So we're coming up to this point over here. We're going to take a look at this um, turning point here because that's going to be critical, but there's no point getting fixated on that, getting to this point and thinking, okay, what's the next one? So you, you're having a look as to where your point after that is as well. Over here, this is a blind corner, so you're pretty much focused on your next turning point there, but around the side here, you've got this double apex. So you're gonna be looking for this one as soon as you possibly can. At this point, you're definitely gonna be looking for your turning point here, but you also want to make sure that you're not gonna early or late, um, so uh, yeah, early or late the apex point here. So you've got an eye there as well. And at this point, sure, you're gonna to want to make sure that you hit this apex here, but you're gonna to want to exit round about there in the track. So you've definitely got an eye on the next one. So that's what I mean, kind of the, the next um, plus one there. So let's take a look at the MX-5 into the corner. So braking there for the corner as is done many times before and starting to turn in now. This is the point where you'd start to realize you're gonna miss the apex because we get to this point here, you see that the apex has been well and truly missed. So this should be setting off danger zones. You can still recover it here, but doesn't look like he's sort of realized that. Um, and at this point now, yeah, it's set. You're going off the track. So you know, turn the steering wheel more, it's not gonna make a difference, it tries to there and you're off the track. So it's just a case of lack of vision, I think. Okay, so how do you know when you've got it right? Well, there's a few things. One is there's no double bite steering. What I mean by that is you're going through a corner, you turn like that and then halfway through the corner you go, oh shit, I bet better do a bit more. That's a sure sign of lack of vision. Now, I'm not talking about a sort of natural correction of oversteer and understeer doing a bit, bit of this. That's different. It's like halfway through a corner and it's almost always increasing the steering lock. It's like, oh yeah, geez, I'm, not, I'm gonna run out of road. <laughs> okay, that's, that's a sure sign. Um, and you also know as soon as you tip a car, pretty much as soon as you tip a car into the corner, you think, yeah, that apex is sweet. I'm gonna kiss that one. Or it's a case of, nah, um, yeah, I've stuffed that up. Um, I should have carried more speed, less speed, whatever the case may be. Um, and also, run as you get to the apex, you think, yeah, okay, this is not gonna work. Um, I'm gonna run wide, I'm out of this corner. And at that point, as you're coming up to around the apex, you've still got some track to deal with it. You can back off, you can correct the skid, whatever the case may be, because you're reacting early, because you, you've looked ahead. If you wait until there's grass underneath your wheels, it's a little bit too late. And basically, the bottom line is, you're not surprised at where the car ended up. You're not coming around the corner, oh my God, where did that corner come from? You know, uh, who knew that, that that corner tightened? It wasn't there on the previous lap. Well, it was, you just weren't looking far enough ahead. Okay, so the summary then, the faster the track, the further you gotta look ahead. So on a really fast track, four fifth gear corners, you gotta look a long, long way ahead compared to a much tighter motor carnery type one. Um, now, this is not easy and it is not instinctive. Um, I think it's because humans were not designed to travel at motor car speeds. We we're designed to travel at running speeds and that's kind of what our whole physiology and brain and everything is linked to. So you really gotta focus on looking ahead. It, it is not easy, it's something you gotta override. And now look, there will be exceptions like blind corners, the Nürburgring, full of them for, for example. So you've just got to look ahead 
as far as you can. And as soon as that corner becomes less blinding, you're looking ahead, ahead um, as far as you possibly can. And yeah, the main thing is just uh, really look for that sort of, oh my God, double bite steering. That's a sure sign that your vision isn't far enough ahead. So I hope you found this video useful. Please do all the usual like, subscribe, share stuff. Any questions, drop them in the comments and thanks for watching.